folks, thank you for checking out my video. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to properly install a dimmer switch. So if you're interested, stay tuned and I will walk you through the whole process. So this is my ceiling lighting fixture in my living room. It is really bright. So I want to switch the light switch to a dimmer switch so I have more options in terms of controlling the brightness of the light. Here's a dimmer switch that I'm going to use to replace my single pole switch. Yours might not look like this, but it should be similar. So you have the uh, top plate here to hide the screws once you mount it onto the wall. On and off position here. And at the bottom, you have the slider here to adjust the brightness of the light. In the back, you have four wires coming out. You have the green wire, which is the ground wire. You have two red wires. In this case, because I'm replacing a single pole switch, we're only going to use one of the red wires. The one that's taped up here, it is used for a three-way switch. So we're not going to use this today. We're just going to cap it off and just leave it alone. The other wire is the black wire, uh, which is, uh, should be connected to the live wire coming from the circuit breaker. The switch that I'm going to switch out should look like this. There are two screws here. And also at the bottom, there is a screw for the ground wire. So you simply remove the two lines connected to here, also to the ground, and simply connect those wires to these wires here. So with that, let's go to the current switch and switch it out. Before installing the new demo switch, you want to turn off the circuit breaker so that you're not working with live circuit, all right? So here's my trick. What I usually do is I leave the, the light on. So with that on, I'm going to my garage to find the circuit breaker and then turn it off. So here's my circuit breaker panel. On the panel, there should be a listing of which circuit breaker belongs to which room. I'm looking at 16 here, which is family room. So 16, where's 16? 16 is right here. I'm going to turn this off. And when I go back to the family room, the light should be off. There you go, that light's off. And as you can see here, the switch is still in on position. Now I'm going to turn it off as well. Now let's open up the panel here and see what we'll find inside. Let's take it out here and see what's in there. All right. So now you have to take these brackets out. So I'm just gonna work on this one here. So folks, if you don't feel comfortable, hire an electrician. If you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself. Safety is very important. There you go. For additional safety, I always use this contactless device here. It measures voltage and current without having to actually touch the wires. So I basically pull it out without touching any wire in the back and then kind of run, run this guy through to see if I can detect any voltage or any current coming through. Now, if there's electricity coming through here, uh, you'll hear a beep. But in this case, we don't hear a beep. It means that uh, there's no electricity coming through here and I can feel safe touching the wires. So what a switch does is it breaks the circuit. So when you, you turn this on, connects the circuit, and when you turn it off, it disconnects the circuit. And that's why you see two black wires, right? And there's no neutral wire because you have electricity coming in and electricity going to the load, which is the lighting fixture. So the switch is just gonna uh, cut off the uh, circuit when you turn it off or on. And that's why these two wires are black, right? So the neutral wires are white wires and they're connected. You don't mess with the neutral wire when you uh, uh, replacing the, uh, the dimmer switch, okay? So just leave the, the neutral wi wire alone, which is white, and it's tucked way back in there. So instead of using the screws, the person who did this decided to use the two slots there that they insert the wires in. So you can either try to pull it out like this, or you can use a stripper here to cut the wires. Boom. Yeah. Boom. All right, it's cut. So this one's on top, and this one's going to the load. 
this one is the uh, the incoming line there for the ground you can basically unscrew it and yeah the person who did this didn't really do a good job with this because it should be like a hook right it should be like a hook so it's connected but you can see it's a straight line that's that is not good all right here's the switch you can still use this just in case I need it for another project I definitely can still use it the next steps would be to remove the insulation about that much so you're going to need a stripper like this here tool here you can get it from Home Depot Amazon you know Amazon has everything strip the there you go All right and then about that much kind of pull it out we took the insulator out and now it's time to connect the dimmer switch so here's the dimmer switch it has four wires coming out we're not going to use this one here because this is for a three-way switch so we're just going to cap it off and not use it but we are going to use these other wires the black wires the red wire and the ground wire for the black wire i'm going to connect it to the the incoming line here current right so just imagine this line is coming straight from the circuit the circuit breaker the panel it's simply connect the two together Let's make it really tight pretty tight the red wire here is going to the the load you pull out the insulator Let's see. twist until you feel like a good grip again we're going to leave this alone uh, ground which is green and that is going to be connected to the bare wire here right the solid copper wire here that you can see clockwise rotation here cool all right folks just to make sure that the wires don't come loose i'm going to reinforce it with electrical tape make sure they stay together all right so now it's just a matter of shoving all these guys in there like hopefully this will fit in there there you go screw it in there there we go perfect All right, folks, so this is installed. Let's go to the circuit breaker, turn this back on and see if it's going to work. All right, back to the circuit breaker. We're going to turn this back on. Boom, we're going to turn this on. So the light is coming on right now, but you see here the slider is at the bottom. So I'm going to push. And you see the light going up there. I'm going to pull the slider down. So now I have the ability to control the brightness of the light. As you can see, it's a very easy project. You can definitely do it yourself. With that, thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.